in this lesson we are going to talk about ultrasonics okay so what is ultrasonics ultrasonics is simply the application of ultrasonic waves to industrial uses okay or for industrial uses so we already know what are ultrasonic waves ultrasonic waves are waves which are having frequencies which is greater than 20000 hertz okay so it's beyond the audible range for humans okay although certain animals like bats dogs even certain type of whales dolphins they already use ultrasonics to detect their prey and to navigate their way around okay so in this lesson we are going to learn about ultrasonic waves how they are produced and what are their applications okay first we are going to look at how ultrasonic waves are produced okay so first method that we are going to analyze is known as a magnetostriction oscillator okay so magnetostriction oscillator which is basically based on magnetostriction effect okay so we are going to first learn what is your magnetostriction effect okay so let me just write it down for you magnetostriction effect so this effect is basically the phenomenon that happens when you apply magnetic field parallel to a length of a ferromagnetic material okay so whenever magnetic field is applied parallelly to the length of a ferromagnetic material what you find out is the length of this ferromagnetic material changes okay so this change is generally around 1 parts per million okay so with the help of this magnetostriction effect which causes the change in length of this ferromagnetic material we produce ultrasound waves okay we are going to see how so over here we have a circuit diagram for a magnetostriction oscillator okay over here what you have is a rod of a ferromagnetic material okay this would primarily be nickel or any other alloy of nickel okay because it produces the maximum magnetostriction effect okay we have two coils wound on this magnetostriction material or ferromagnetic material which produces magnetostriction effect one is l1 and l2 you have a variable capacitor present over here and there is a transistor present over here these are the clamps which are used to keep this rod in position okay let's now understand what's happening in this circuit okay as the circuit is switched on this capacitor over here it starts to charge and discharge okay via this coil l2 okay as a result vibrations are produced in this rod okay this rod starts to expand and contract due to the magnetostriction effect that we have just studied okay the current passing through this coil causes the magnetic field to develop along the length of this rod and magnetostatic effect takes place which results in expansion and contraction of this rod okay so this rod starts to vibrate the vibrating frequency f1 is given by 1 upon 2 pi root of l2 into c okay so this rod starts to vibrate and now due to inverse magnetostriction effect an emf is developed in the other coil l1 okay so the induced emf 